Hello everyone, today we want to take a look at Evit's new bulk edit feature. I will show you how you can change, for example, individual file names for a lot of clips within seconds. All right. You can see I have a couple of columns here with useful metadata, like scene and take numbers, and I would like to transfer those over into the clip file names. Here's how we do this. You right click your selected clips, now choose bulk edit. First of all, we need to select which columns we want to modify. In this case, we want to change the names of our subclips. Here we decide which items we want to change. We choose selection. Now we decide if we want to replace the clip names with a specific text, with counter or column data. We can also combine all of these options. Let's start with the column. In this case, I want all clip names to start with individual scene and take numbers. Here we select the scene number. You can see here what the new file name will look like. Click the plus to add more data. I select specific text to add a slash symbol. Now I want to add the take number. I click the plus again, select column and select take. I click the plus one more time to add underscore a camera. Great, and here's a preview for all your clip names. If you're happy with everything, you click commit. And here are all your new clip names. If you're planning on using this combination of data more often in the future, I can recommend saving a preset. That way you can apply this to all your clips in the future with just a couple of clicks. Let's take a look at another example. One important thing to know is you will only see the column data in your bulk edit window that you've selected in your bin view. So if you're not sure yet which columns you will need, you could just select all of them first. Okay, in this bins are clips and sequences, so I select all subclips instead of selection. But this is also an easy way to select just your sequences, for example. In this case, I want to change my clip names to drones underscore. Add the original clip name underscore and at the data from the comment column. If you're happy, click commit again. All right, great. So within seconds, you can change and adjust the metadata for a lot of clips. If this video was helpful, feel free to use the link in the video description for a donation and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.